In this video we share watch and be ready for death and judgment. Jesus invites his disciples to watch, to be ready, prepared to meet death and the judgment that awaits every man. Nobody knows the time, nobody knows the day. The hour when the Son of Man will come cannot even be imagined. Immediately after death, the truth of our soul will present itself before the truth of God, there will be no hypocrisy, concealment, pretense, justification, subterfuge, corruption. The soul will be naked and uncovered, its history is all there before the Lord. She herself will see the holiness that will lead her to heaven, the imperfection that will take her to purgatory, the iniquity that will make her precipitate to eternal hell, without any possibility of being able to change her fate. If there were no God's judgment on the actions of men, everyone could do what he wants. Jesus warns us that there is a bad lot, which is eternal perdition, and a good one, which is salvation and eternal life. To enter into eternal life we must be found righteous, in the grace of God, with a soul full of divine charity, with a living, active faith. In Luke's Gospel Jesus tells us. Be ready and dressed. Have your lights burning. Be like men who are waiting for their owner to come home from a wedding supper. When he comes and knocks on the door, they will open it for him at once. Those servants are happy when their owner finds them watching when he comes. For sure, I tell you, he will be dressed and ready to care for them. He will have them seated at the table. The owner might come late at night or early in the morning. Those servants are happy if their owner finds them watching whenever he comes. But understand this, that if the owner of a house had known when the robber was coming, he would have been watching. He would not have allowed his house to be broken into. You must be ready also. The Son of Man is coming at a time when you do not think he will come, Luke 12 35-40. Everyone has to prepare eternity on this earth. Time is needed for this. Heaven is for those who make the Beatitudes the most beautiful dress to wear. What is often the problem? That, unfortunately, we know all these things well, we say them, but we don't believe them, we confess them as a profession of faith, but we do not live by gazing into them with true conviction. Christ Jesus admonishes us to live according to eternal life. The whole gospel is an invitation to choose eternal life, but not by denying the present life, as if we were out of time and history, but by making time one act of love in obedience to God, for His glory, only one charity so that the love of Christ conquers hearts and draws them to the Father. If we truly believed in the eternity of perdition and heaven and that eternal life is the perfect fulfillment of every desire of man, while hell is the privation of every form of life, because only the darkness exists there that obscures the existence and precipitate it in a death that is never consumed, we would certainly give another meaning to our life, we would orient it all towards paradise, we would make the earth a garden of communion, solidarity, sharing, true charity. Many today believe neither in the eternity of hell, nor in the unending joy of heaven. He does not believe who leads an opaque, unjust existence, enveloped in so much evil, overwhelmed by every temptation, those who live without knowledge of God, without constant prayer for their own spiritual growth, in a love and charity, which becomes the consummation of the whole existence to help the brothers to find the way of God, so as to become all children of only Father, brothers of Jesus Christ, living temple of the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, we write rivers of words, but I want to say a clear one. Jesus is beautiful. Heaven is beautiful. And we can't play with it and risk being separated from it. Lord, detach our heart from the earth and from the things that belong to it. Let everything on earth become a means, a ladder to reach eternity blessed with God. Free us from the presumption of saving ourselves without merit and convince hearts that the word of God is true and is fulfilled even in the smallest of its details. Amen. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.